This iron meteorite, which was found in Oregon, is the largest ever found in the United States and the sixth largest in the world. The largest meteorite ever found in North America, the Willamette meteorite. The Willamette meteor is enormous. The actual shape of the meteor has changed over time. It now looks something like a piece of modern art. It is fascinating and enormous. The thing's the size of a car. If we look at the makeup of the Willamette meteorite, it's got iridium, germanium, gallium, and nickel. It weighs about 15 tons, a very large object. The nickel actually helps it from not corroding. And it's, of course, shows evidence of having gone through the atmosphere. You know, it's pitted. And what's interesting, it landed intact and didn't break into a billion pieces. So it's a quite remarkable meteorite. The Willamette meteorite is an example of not only of a strange meteorite arriving intact, but also that it had a profound effect on the local. Pick a good spot in a world full of rocks. Narrowing your search is key. Meteorites fall anywhere but they are easiest to spot where there are few terrestrial rocks, said Alan Rubin, a geochemist at the University of California, Los Angeles, who specializes in characterizing newly discovered meteorites. The best hunting grounds are large, barren expanses where a dark rock, meteorites tend to be blackish, is easy to spot. Deserts, such as Southern California's Mojave Desert, and icy regions, such as Antarctica, are ideal. Within the Mojave or another desert, ancient, dry lake beds are ideal places to search, because their surfaces have likely been exposed for millennia. You can also search in, strewn fields, or zones where meteorites from a single space rock were dispersed as it broke up during atmospheric entry. There are well-known strewn fields located near New Mexico's Glorieta Mountain, as well as Holbrook and Franconia in Arizona.